done to my last melon. I really need to find some food. Oh, faction. Maybe I can find something there. Alright, let's see. Oh, cake. The cake is a lie. I really need food, though. Uh, okay, let's do it. Oh, God. Oh. Come on. Hey, this is Ronnie Boom, and welcome to my trap tutorial series. As you probably guessed, this is a trap, right from the beginning. Let's show you how it works. In order to understand how this trap works, you first have to understand block update detectors. A block update detector, or BUD, is a redstone trigger that activates when a block is updated. Block update detectors are great trap triggers because they're a little bit harder to notice than conventional ones. Let's take a look at some of the things that can trigger block update detectors. When you till dirt, you can trigger redstone. Also, when you untill dirt. So just by having a player stand or jump on this tilled dirt, we can trigger a redstone trap. Um, you can also trigger it by standing on redstone ore. String, which is tough to see here, but there is actually a string on top, and I'll show you what it looks like. All you have to do is uh, touch that string and it'll get updated. Eating cake can also trigger block updates, as well as placing or removing blocks. This is a block update detector that actually detects the bottom block. And this one's pretty useful, especially if you put string next to it. If I take a piece of string and I place it here, it's almost invisible, but it'll still trigger that redstone when I walk through it. And it requires no tripwire hooks. This one can be easily blended in with some furnaces at a ceiling. This one has string directly on top of a pi an extended piston, but I don't like this one because it's not automatically resettable. Mumbo Jumbo has a really good video on this one, and Seth Bling has a fantastic in-depth explanation of block update detectors. You should click the links here if you want to know more. Let's take a look at one of the simple traps that I've set up. So basically, all you have to do is walk over this redstone, and it triggers a block update. Seth Bling has a great video demonstrating this, and I also have a video that makes some improvements on Seth Bling's design. Check out both videos here and here. The design looks a little bit complicated, but that's just because it's tileable. The part made of quartz is the tileable side, and all the black is the redstone input. Of course, you want to hook up your input to your trap trigger. To use it, a player can be standing on any one of these blocks. Then we're going to trip that redstone. This block gets pulled down, and these two push the villager off the end. It can also be easily mirrored on the other side to double the size of the floor to six blocks wide and infinitely expandable. Just take note that this repeater and this repeater are both at four ticks, whereas these two in the double piston extender are at single ticks. Also take note that the flush floor piston retractor here, the side facing pistons have to have more of a delay than the upward facing piston. Block update detectors are great because they're easy to hide, but make sure to check out my next video for a completely undetectable trap that's much simpler to build.